Hello there. So for this exercise, we need to work with the linear with the matrix transformation, which corresponds to different kinds of rotations. So the first is to define this transformation T such that it perform a counterclockwise rotation about the z-axis of angle th of th thirty degrees, which is actually equivalent to pi over 6 radians. So if we are going to define a matrix transformation or a linear transformation that make these kind of rotations, we can um, consider and say it in an easier way, a transformation given by some matrix. So it's technically the same, uh, the same idea as it is is a linear transformation but we have a matrix that represents this transformation so in this case the matrix representation for this kind of uh, rotation corresponds to the matrix given by cosine of pi over 6 or let, let's just put 30 degrees minus sine 30 sine of 30 and here cosine of 30 0 0 1 0 0 and well you may recognize this matrix is just the rotation matrix about the z-axis of degree theta in this case theta is equal to 30 degrees and this matrix becomes just the matrix one half square root of 3 minus 1 0 1 square root of 3 0 0 0 1 and with this is enough you can associate the transformation from R3 to R3 such that T of X any vector is given by this matrix representation of the transformations times the vector okay so with defining the matrix associated to this linear transformation is enough. Let's continue with the next uh, transformation that we need to, to, to obtain. So the second is a transformation, again, from R3 to R3 that represents a rotation counterclockwise about the x-axis of 45 degrees okay so in that case this matrix representation of this linear transformation will be just the rotation matrix about the x-axis of 45 degrees and this is the, the, the following matrix given by 1, 0, 0, 0, cosine of 45, minus sine of 45, sine of 45, and cosine of 45, 0, and this. And after evaluating the, the corresponding um, cosine and sines, we obtain the following matrix square root 1 over the square root of 2 times the matrix square root of 2 0 0 0 1 minus 1 0 1 and 1 and the last uh, transformation that we need to obtain is a transformation again from R3 to R3 but in this case it should represent a counterclockwise rotation about the y-axis of 90 degrees so in this sense the matrix representation of this linear transformation is just the rotation matrix about the y-axis of 90 degrees this corresponds to the matrix cosine of theta 0 minus sorry 
90 degrees minus sine of 90 degrees 0 1 0 and here sine of 90 degrees 0 cosine of 90 degrees after evaluating the cosine and sines we obtain the matrix 0 0 minus 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 which is the uh, representation of this linear transformation